everyone welcome back again to my channel before watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe now let's start this video law enforcement in indonesia's exclusive economic zone in the framework of indonesia's national interest in the marine sector part 2 as it known that since 1967 especially since the outbreak of the arab israeli war giant tankers began to be born many of these tankers carry oil from the middle east to japan sentences for perpetrators of the fisheries crimes in indonesia exclusive economic zone waters include the coastal state can apply all provisions of the criminal law code to ships the international law regimes on exclusive economic zone has been developed by the international community through the united nations conference on state practices this regime is intended to protect the interests of coastal states from the danger of being depleted of biological natural resources by fishing activities based on the free sea regimes in addition the exclusive economic zone is also intended to protect the interests of the coastal state in the field of marine environment conservation as well as marine scientific research in order to support this use sorry in order to support this use of natural resources in the zone UN clause give sovereign rights to Indonesia as a coastal state to explore and exploit natural resources in the exclusive economic zone as well as jurisdiction relating to exercise of these sovereign rights. For that reason, needs integrate law enforcement and effort to conserve living natural resources in Indonesia's exclusive economic zone. For law enforcement in the Indonesia's exclusive economic zone, in the context of Indonesia's in the context of Indonesia's national interest in the marine sector, the Indonesian Navy, the Maritime Security Agency of Bakamla, and the Ministry of Maritime Affairs and Fisheries of or KKP have carried out the execution of the sinking of foreign fishing vessels, carried out illegal fishing practices in the territorial waters Indonesia. This policy is intended as a strong warning to the perpetrators of, of illegal fishing as well as a form of and enforcing the law in Indonesian marine areas which will continue to be carried out in order to have a deterrent effect on the perpetrators. However, the act of catching foreign vessels is carried out still based on the applicable rules and regulations as well as the fulfillment of sufficient initial evidence. Sufficient preliminary evidence to erase a foreign flag fishing vessels is evidence that suspect a criminal act in the field of fisheries by a foreign flag fishing vessel. The error caused a security disturbance in the coastal state. In this case, the wrong processing and utilization of the country's living natural resources can impose penalties in accordance with the provisions. The jurisdictional right of the state of the waters can manage and utilize the living natural resources in the Indonesia's exclusive economic zone and the state of the waters has the authority to carry out legal proceedings up to court against foreign ships in accordance with the provision of applicable international law. Capture ship and their crew are immediately released after appropriate replacement or other forms. An archipelagic state may not carry out detention confinement if there is no agreement from the state that makes international treaties. The, the jurisdictional right of the state of the waters can manage and utilize the living natural resources in the Indonesia's exclusive economic zone and the state of waters has the authority to carry out our legal proceedings up to court against foreign ships in accordance with the provision of applicable international law. Capture ships and their crew are immediately released, released after appropriate replacement or other forms. An archipelagic state may not carry out detention confinement if there is no agreement from the state that makes international treaties. 
capture shapes and their crew are immediately released after appropriate replacement or other forms. An archipelagic state may not carry out detention confinement if there is no agreement from the state that makes international treaties. The archipelagic state must immediately inform the flag state ship about the sanction and consequence of the punishment to be given or decided by the coastal state. In the Article 73, Paragraph 1, UN Clause 1982, for law enforcement in the Indonesia's exclusive economic zone in the context of Indonesia's national interest in the marine sector, the Indonesian Navy, the Maritime Security Agency, or BAKAMLA, and the Ministry of Maritime Affairs and Fisheries, or KKP, have carried out the execution of the sinking of foreign fishing vessel called carrying out illegal fishing practice in the territorial waters Indonesia. This policy is intended as a strange warning to the perpetrators of illegal fishing as well as a form of Indonesia's commitment in monitoring and enforcing the law in Indonesia's in Indonesian married areas which will continue to be carried out in order to have deterrent effect on the perpetrators. However, the act of catching foreign fishing vessels is carried out still based on the applicable rules and regulations, as well as the fulfillment of sufficient initial evidence. Sufficient preliminary evidence to erase a foreign flag fishing vessel is evidence that suspect a criminal act in the field of fisheries by a foreign flag fishing vessel. For the imposition of criminal sanction for foreign fishing vessels that commit illegal fishing crimes in the Indonesia's exclusive economic zone 45 of 2009 concerning fisheries has been carried out jointly by the Directorate for Handling Violations. The Directorate General of Supervision of Marine Resources and Fisheries, the Ministry of Maritime and Fisheries since 2014, in the form of the implementation of the sinking of foreign ships that are perpetrators of the crime of illegal fishing, always through the mechanism of the provisions of Article 76A, Law No. 45 of 2009 concerning amendments to Law No. 31 of 2004 concerning fisheries in conjunction with Article 80, sorry, with Article 38 GO. Article 45 of Law No. 8 of 1981, a mechanism regulated that objects and or tools used in or resulting from criminal acts of fisheries can be confiscated for the state of for the state or destroyed after obtaining approval from the head of the district court and based on a court decision that has permanent legal for as a regulation in law number 8 of 1981. There was one law during the new order period that alludes to the use of the term security within the maritime context. This, write, this was written under the law number 6, 1996 on Indonesian territorial waters. As was the custom back in the new order era, the term security would always use the conjunction with the term defense. Hence, you would always see that defense and security are considered to be interchangeable. This was born due to the insecurity of the new order regimes that the biggest insecurity for Indonesia would come from its domestic population. Hence, the law stresses the fact that no foreign intervention via or terri hence hence the law stresses the fact that no foreign intervention via our territorial waters shall be tolerated should it seek to conduct hence the law stresses the fact that no foreign intervention via our territorial waters shall be tolerated should it seek to seek to conduct propaganda or espionage activities. The destruction of IUU fishing vessels as an MLA measures is inherently extensible as long as such extension is deemed to be necessary. 
Okay, everyone, that's all this article today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until the next one, bye bye.